Hey you guys, it's me Jess, welcome back. So, in this video, I'm going to explain to you how to do your measurements. So first things first, when you start to do your measurements, your hair has to be laid down flat. You cannot have big jumbo braids, you cannot have an afro pump, you cannot do all these extraordinary, exclusive hairstyles when doing your measurements because it is vital that your hair is flat. The same flatness is needed when you install wigs to your head. So you need that same flatness. Another thing that can also help with making sure that your hair is flat is the wig cap. So for those of us that have shorter hair, um, less than four inches, sometimes we may have to gel it down, foam it down, however we get it to lay down, we get it to lay down. And then also to help assist that flatness, we have to use a wig cap to keep it down. So um, just make sure when you do decide to measure your head that your hair is not interfering with the accurate measurement of your head. So now that my hair is braided straight back, I'm gonna put on my wig cap and we can get started with the measurement. So make sure that you have a soft, measure, soft measuring tape. You can get this at uh, Joann's, Michael's, Walmart, Amazon. Those are like the top four places that I can think of at the top of my head. Um, when you do your measurements, you want to make sure that you're on the inches side. I think they have inches and centimeters, but even on the centimeter side, on the top, is inches and on the bottom is centimeters. And on this side is just strictly inches. So you wanna make sure that the number that you're recording is in inches and not centimeters because the conversion is a little bit off and it may or may not be accurate. So starting with the first set of measurements, we're gonna do the circumference. So you want to make sure you get the whole circumference of your head. Like, put the measuring tape at the back right here. Let it sit there. Come above your ears and the silver piece where it ends, that's the circumference of my head. Well, for the measurement that we just did was circumference. Circumference is needed for all wig making types. That's for closure wigs, frontal wigs, you part wigs, 360 wigs, all wigs, all wigs, you need circumference. That's the number one important measure. So the second measurement that we're gonna do is called the front to nape measurement. And um, using your soft mesh, start where your hairline starts on your forehead, in the front. And then you bring it straight down to the back to your nape where your hairline stops by your neck. So it's a straight, up and straight from here to the back for your nape. That's measurement number two. So the third measurement that we're gonna do is the ear to ear over the forehead. So we're gonna start here where the where your earlobe starts, go across the forehead to where your earlobe starts on the other side. The max of that measurement is a 13 because a lot of the frontals come in a 13 by four or 13 by six. So if your measurement is more than 13, then you're doing something wrong. So just make sure that when you start your measurements, you're starting right here by the ear and over here, you're ending right here by the ear. So now we're going on to the fourth measurement and the fourth measurement is similar to the third one because it's an ear to ear measurement, but instead this one is over the top. So you're still starting from the same point by your earlobe and going across the top of your head to the other side of your elbow. So for our fifth measurement, we're doing temple to temple. And that's basically from behind your eyebrow, your temple area, behind your eyebrow, all the way to the other side behind your eyebrow. It's temple to temple. So we take it straight back from this side, 
straight around the back to the other side. That is a temple to temple measurement. Okay, so the last measurement that we're doing is the nape of your head. So the nape of your head is the bottom area of your hairline from right here going across to right here. This is where, this area is normally where the back of the wig sits, whether you have combs or elastic band, that's that area back there. So I hope this video was able to help whoever needs it. And if you have any questions or comments, you can always reach out to me at justwigstudio at gmail.com. Uh, uh.